Once every few years, one of the most authentic carnivals in the world opens its doors to everyone who wants to have fun. You can find everything here. Mutant shows, acrobats, magicians, and exotic animals. But the most mysterious attraction is the superpower shop. For a mere 5 bucks, you can get some unusual abilities for 24 hours. Every year, the shop changes its repertoire, and this time, it's dedicated to vision. So, five friends, Peter, Harry, Mary, Ben, and Norman, come to the shop and take out bundles of paper from the magic ball. They open them, and at that moment, the ball releases lightning. Now, each of the friends has super sight. Harry gets the ability to see infrared radiation, and it allows him to see in the dark. But that doesn't mean he'd go blind in daylight. Harry sees not colors and light, but temperature. His eyes have turned into a night vision device. Snakes have this superpower. It helps them to catch their prey. But in some places, such ability can make your life harder. If you come to the North Pole, you will see darkness because of how cold it is there. But if you come to a desert, you may go blind. Harry can see living people and animals from afar, thanks to his infrared vision, but he can't see cold objects up close. Each person's face appears orange, and the tips of their nose and ears have a pale shade, as these are the coldest parts of the body. If Harry gets lost in the woods, he can easily find his way to warmth, as he'll notice any increase in temperature from afar. He enjoys the temperature pattern when the heat from a flame goes up, dissolves in the air, and disappears. Harry sees how the legs of running people glow, as blood circulates rapidly there. A boxer's hands glow, and a swimmer's back glows too. Harry finds walking in warm weather difficult, even when it rains. He can't cook because the frying pan blinds him. But the most dangerous place for Harry is in a sauna. The day ends, and normal vision returns to Harry. Peter can now see an ultraviolet light. And there's nothing cool here at first glance. Ultraviolet is electromagnetic radiation that the sun, computer screens, and some gadgets emit. So Peter can see an unusual glow that slightly irritates his eyes. In the sky, he sees brighter stars and even the glow of distant galaxies. Thanks to ultraviolet light, our skin gets a tan. Peter watches as rays invisible to a normal person fall on the skin and burn it a little. Indoors, there isn't so much ultraviolet light, and Peter's vision gets worse. He doesn't distinguish colors well and the picture in front of his eyes becomes dim. Peter's eyes stop seeing at night since there's little ultraviolet light. Ordinary light bulbs don't make the situation better for him, but ultraviolet ones do. When Peter is straining, his eyes begin to release ultraviolet light. This means he doesn't need to wash his hands since ultraviolet is a powerful antibacterial agent. Peter can look at his palms and destroy all the germs. Also, he can tell fake bills from real ones and see fingerprints on any object. He would make an excellent detective with such an ability. But one day passes, and his vision returns to normal. Mary gets the ability to see radio waves. They're used in radios, satellites, and many other technologies. Almost all gadgets emit these waves, so Mary sees all electronic devices glowing. Earth's magnetic field produces radio waves. The same happens on other planets, so Mary sees Jupiter, Venus, and Mercury in the sky. But not Mars, since it has no magnetic field. Luminous waves fly everywhere, caught by radios and other devices. An ordinary radio receiver intercepts radio waves and converts them into sound. This is how we hear music in live broadcasts. The same thing happens in Mary's brain. Her eyes see radio waves, and her brain converts signals into sounds. And that's the problem. Mary sees radio waves everywhere. Music, voices speaking in different languages, white noise, and advertisements are floating in her head simultaneously. It drives her mad. But as soon as Mary closes her eyes, everything falls silent. 
So she decides to sleep until her superpower disappears. Ben gets gamma vision. Gamma rays come from the hottest and most energetic objects in the universe. These rays have such power that they are destructive to our DNA. The sun, distant stars, explosions of supernovas, and black holes emit an enormous amount of gamma radiation. But Ben can't see it because our planet's atmosphere doesn't let gamma radiation through. However, even if he went to the ISS, he would still not notice anything because exploding stars are too far away. He can see gamma radiation on Earth in radioactive areas. He doesn't need to use a dosimeter to determine what level of radiation is near an abandoned nuclear reactor. Ben sees the radioactivity of some objects, which means he can warn people about this danger. An excellent ability for some atomic scientists, but quite useless for an ordinary guy. In some town on a highly radioactive planet, Ben would become the most welcome friend in any company looking for stranger things. He would easily find a clean place with a low level of radiation where people could grow fruit and vegetables. He'd know the most polluted areas and wouldn't let people go there. Also, if there was some radioactive monster hiding in the woods, Ben would know its location thanks to the light emitted by the beast. But in a common town like his, it's a pretty useless feature. Ben waits for 24 hours and gets his normal sight back but feels no difference. So, Norman gets x-ray vision. That doesn't mean he can see through walls. He sees x-rays in a hospital and understands how the whole thing works. Doctors release x-rays from a special machine. The rays pass through our skin, muscles, and tissues, but can't pass through bones. Then, when the rays reach this blue film, there are shadows left by bones. In a normal sense, X-rays work like the sun, but they pass through soft tissues. Norman gains the ability to see how X-rays pass through his body. And if he closes his eyes, he will still see a bright light because his eyelids won't protect him. And that's where the cool tricks end. However, it would be much cooler if he could emit these rays from his eyes. With just a little effort, he'd be able to look at a person and see their skeleton. Norman would be a great doctor or scientist, but using such an ability for a long time is impossible, since x-rays can harm human bodies, especially if you don't have a protective suit. So his superpower disappears after 24 hours. The friends decide to return to the carnival to try something else. They enter the superpower shop, and the magician working there offers them something absolutely fantastic. Do you want to see all the radiation and waves in the universe? He asks. Of course we do, the friends answer. The magician taps the floor three times with his cane. Clouds are gathering inside his magic ball. Then lightning bolts fly out of it. An unknown force lifts the friends off the floor. Their eyes light up with a bright glow. The magician knocks two more times and everything ends. Now, go outside, he says. The friends leave the shop and close their eyes because of how bright all colors are. Everything is pulsing with different hues. The sky is shimmering with hundreds of colors. People are glowing, and the grass is emitting a purple light. Then it turns orange, then blue. The light around is constantly changing. It takes the form of waves, then straight lines. Then it becomes dim, bright, transparent, and saturated. The friends close their eyes, but the light doesn't disappear. Various kinds of radiation pass through their closed eyelids. It blinds and is too hard to handle. The friends ask to stop it. The magic ends. The guys realize that their human vision is the best. Their eyes see this world perfectly and they don't need any extra abilities. Well, running faster would be nice. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.